All right, let's get into it. So I've seen quite a few questions on Facebook groups and whatnot about people asking what track they can use, uh, what's digital, what's not, will classic track work with sports track, all sorts of random questions. So I'm going to try and explain the differences between all the different power bases. Now I'm no expert, but I've done a bit of reading and we'll see if I can get through it. So your most standard one, which has been around for quite a while, is this. It's just a basic 15 volt input, two cars running on the track, two analog cars. That's it. No worries. It's just, this is what we all remember. You also get classic track, which is the same. Maybe the power base is a little bit different, but it's still the same thing. Two cars, one controller controls each lane. That's that. Right, next, onto that. I have to use my iPad here because I haven't got all the stuff. Scale electric Sport. From what I can understand with this is the controllers are different and the power base gives you the option to put in another power supply so you get more power and more consistency around your track. Uh, next, we could talk about Classic Track. Will Classic Track work digitally? And will it also work with Sport Track? Well, as you can see here, ah, that's not a piece of Classic Track. Hang on. So that's the standard connector on the old school Classic Track. So that will not clip into the standard Sport pieces, but you can buy this, which is a converter, so you can go from the classic track to the new sports track. I'll leave a link in the description on where you can buy this. So you can use classic track with sports track. Should you use classic track with sports track? Uh, that's up to you. One problem is with the classic track, uh, between... The rails, it's not as deep as the new sports track. So the older style cars can run nice and smooth across the classic track. But the new cars, they've got a deeper guide blade. So when you run in, they catch on the plastic. I don't know what you can see in there, but these ridges inside the newer cars will catch on the classic track, so it won't run unless you sand down your blade. Whether you want to do that or not, I don't know. Another problem with the uh, classic track running new cars is on some bits of classic track, you got obstacles like little bits of mountains stuck on here. With the older style cars, there was a lot of movement up and down in the front wheels so they could ride over the uh, obstacles on the classic track. The new cars, there's no movement, so they tend to derail. There's also a piece of classic track that's a banked turn. New cars, terrible on it, because they ain't got that movement. They'll just come off. So yeah, that's classic track on new track. Uh, next picture. First, let's look at this one. Scale Electric Sport Digital, four cars. Uh, you can use any track with this, no problem, but you must have digital chipped cars. How can you tell if your car is digital chipped? Let me find one here. That little IR sensor there, it looks like a little light sticking up, sticking out. That is a digitally chipped car. Uh, so that will work on this track. An analog car will not work on this track. It'll just buzz. It'll make a buzzing noise. It won't go around the track. It won't work. The only way you can use cars on this with this power base is if they are converted to digital. You can look at another video on how to convert cars to digital up here. That's that. Right, the next one. Scale Electric Digital Advance with six cars running on the track. I'm not too familiar with this. I've never used it, but there is quite a lot of features. It's quite old, but it's apparently it's still a good unit. 
Uh, with this, you can run both digital and analog. So all your cars will work with this power base. Also with this, you can run pace cars. So you can have five pace cars and yourself racing against five computer pace cars. Uh, if you want to run analog mode with this power base, you must have two power inputs. If you've only got one power input, only lane one will work. So you must have two, so both lanes work. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description, and, and you can read about everything I'm saying. Next, let's have a look at the Arc 1 power base. Okay, we've Arc 1. Same again, it's standard, it's two lanes, two cars, analog mode, racing against each other. But uh, with this, you get the scale, you can use the scale electric app on the iPad. Uh, so you can set up how many laps you want, it counts your laps. Uh, you can do pit stops. I'll go through all that in another video. You do not need digital cars for this. This is not digital in any way. Arc Air is basically Arc 1, but with wireless controllers. So all the same as Arc 1. You can use the app. It's not digital. It's just the controllers are wireless. What I will say with digital is, digital means basically you can switch lanes. You get digital lane changes. And when you're driving along, you press a button on the on your controller and the lane changes like a like a train track changes to let the train pass it's the same with the digital track you press this button and the track will open up and you can switch lanes that's basically what digital is with digital lane changing uh, after this you've got the arc pro unit and this is the latest this is the latest unit uh, this is digital you can use the arc you can sorry you can use the scale electric app so you've got all the features of the scale electric app there's another app as well called magic air maybe magic racing i'm not sure i can leave a link i've not tested that yet i've only used the scale electric app and with this unit you can do everything i think it's the best unit on the market i think it's fantastic you can run your digital cars, you can do all your digital lane changes. You can also use uh, analog cars with this as well. So you get the best of both worlds. Not to cut there, just a, one more thing on this. It also has pace cars. You can set it all up in the app. Like I said, I'll go through that in another video. Quite a lot to make, so I need to find the time. Uh, one other thing, if your cars are digitally chipped, they will still work on all the track. They will still work on all track. Classic, sport, anything. It doesn't matter. It's still just 12, roll, 12 volts running through, so they will work. Anyway, if I haven't covered anything, like I said, I'm no expert, but yeah, basically this is just for new people who are exploring Scale Electric. Uh, if I've missed something, please comment. I mean, I'm learning as well. So if you know something that I've not mentioned that's quite important, drop a comment, drop a like. And if you can, please subscribe. It'll give us motivation to make more videos. Anyway, enjoy racing and have fun.